Yeah, you're right. That's the only thing. And you have so many people. You have the town, you have Arizona. Yeah. yeah. That's some good things. It's, 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 we all love you, Angel. We it's, do. It's, it's incredible what we started here. Yeah. yeah. Well, you were the start, Angel, so. You know what? And, and, and just, it was. It's so difficult to get people to believe in what I thought. Yeah. I finally told the Student Chamber of Commerce, and I was the president, if you don't like it, I'll do it myself. Yeah. Well, I got tired you did in a way, you know. Gee, gosh. <laughs> you raised a great family here, Angel. And yes, yes. Your daughter is so sweet, Clarissa. And I, I'm sure the other ones are. Can I show you a picture of one of my family? Our firstborn angel. Let me show. Angel is the firstborn. And oh then, my God. Then Martha. Yeah. Then I think I met Martha. Myrna and Clarissa. Yeah. They, she manages the store and she helps her sister and then Mauricio. Yeah. Her husband. Just... So, Angel, September 22nd, 1978. What, what happened? Just. In your own words, just real quick. <laughs> we knew that we were going to get bypassed. Yeah. We knew that. And at about 2 33 o'clock in the afternoon, September 22nd, 1978. He's got a great memory, huh? 70, it was a, they put a gate at the east end on I 40 and one at the west end on I 40 and told the people you can't come into town anymore. Oh. I'm serious. Statistics tells us that there was 9,000 automobiles using this rough 66 of town. Yeah. Some 24 hour periods. Especially when the schools lit out in California. Yeah. Back then they lit them out all at the same time. Yeah. And for several days, they, they started arriving here at about 9, 10, 11 o'clock and it was just cars, 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 cars. They were all on vacation. So it died for 10 long years of town. Traffic, hardly no one came. No one cared to see the light. The county officials didn't care, state officials didn't care. Our national officials, they didn't even know we existed much, well, not even Phoenix News. And, and, and things just died for 10 long years. 10. 1987, when you had the meeting. 78. I know when you had the meeting at Copper Cart. February the 18th, yeah. 1987. Yeah. I told the 15 people how I thought we'd get the economy back. We formed the first ever the Historic Route 66 Association of Arizona. And the rest is history. God, thank you. Yeah, Angel. thank you. It's, it's we the people that did it. See? Yeah. And, and when, you, when you guys get me to talking this way, we the people have to understand that if we leave it up to our elected, our elected officials, it will never happen. Yeah. They have to be shoved, pushed, and in as many words, threatened with their jobs for them to move. They will not move unless we do not, if we do not instill what we think, we, and what we think, they're too contented living in their own lives. I didn't mean to get into politics. No, oh, no, that's good. No, we want you're to... right. It has nothing to do with, you know. This is what young people have to understand. Quit wimping. Yeah. Get off of those soup lines, those bread lines, those giveaway yeah. programs, because they're not going to last forever. Yeah. We have to be accountable for ourselves to save our beautiful country. God bless you for that. And our towns. Like, I was born in Superior, Arizona. And you it, know, yes, I do. You know, and uh, I wish we had someone like you to save our, 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 our town. 